everybody. In this particular video, we're going to talk about mastering the art of video editing using Camtasia. And what I'm going to be doing in this particular video is just sort of taking you through my video editing process so that you can see me edit a video and you can watch me do this live. Okay. All right. So initially what you will see here is I have some recordings inside of the media bin. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be editing this video. Now, this video is about click designs and I'm going to be showing you my video editing process. I try to make my videos really easy um, and I try to make the whole process easy for myself so it doesn't become a, a big convoluted mess, right? And so um, I try to do it and make it really, really easy for myself. Okay, so right now you can see I have on the canvas this video, um, you, and that's the green screen uh, situation I have there. You will also see the computer screen here. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to sort of change the look and the feel of this, and we're going to change the look of, of how it, it looks. So what I'm going to do initially is I'm going to go ahead and delete the background off of that. I'm going to go into my library and I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop my background that I'm going to actually use in this particular video. Now, if you're familiar with my channel, you are familiar with this particular background. You've seen this background before, and I'm going to go ahead and scale that up. Um, so that way the background can be seen, etc. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, green screen and I'm going to blow this up a little bit. Now what I'm going to do initially is I'm going to crop it. Okay, I got some stuff that I need to take out. Um, so let's take this part out. We're going to crop that and we're going to crop the other side as well. All right. And so now that we've cropped it, now what I want to do is I'm actually going to go to my favorites and I'm going to go to the remove a color uh, scheme here and I'm going to remove the color. All right. Now um, I'm going to move this around so you guys can see something here. Um, once you come over in the properties tab, then you're going to click on this little eyedropper. Now, what I typically like to do is I typically like to get as close to the chair as I can. Um, and see, and if you notice in this video, this is a lot lighter. This side is a lot lighter than this side. Okay. And I'm probably going to need to purchase another ring light and just put the other ring light on this other side, because if you notice it's even over here, but it's, it has a shadow on this side. Okay. So I'm always going to go with the darkest part over here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove that color. Now we're going to work with the tolerance and we're going to bring that up a little bit. So that way we can, you know, see myself a little bit better. And I'm going to drag this up a little bit more and I'm going to move this into the center. All right. So that's typically how I'm, uh, I'm going to do that part there. All right. And, and this is why I say I like this product because it, it really is really good for, you know, non-technical people who really don't, you know, know how to use some of those other programs that are just like super, super technical. Now, what I'd like to do normally as well is I like to play the video. Um, and I hope this is recording on the right audio. Let me see here. Um, I hope so. I hope it is. <laughs> All right. And we'll, we'll note it. We'll know that in a minute. Um, all right. Okay. Um, so, and we, we put that there. Now, normally what I like to do is play the video. Hey everybody, in this click designs review, we're going to be talking about how to make better graphics, even if you're doing that for a podcast or for whatever reason you you need to make graphics. Now, what exactly can click designs do for you? Watch this. All right. All right. And that's sort of the first part of that. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, um, but I just go through the first part of the video as well. And I sort of like that. So everything with this first part is done. OK, so that's the initial part of the video. Now, I want to make sure that I cut off the or get the first part of it done. Um, so typically um, there's always a little bit of silence in the beginning. So I'll typically take the playhead here and I'll zoom it to wherever um, the start of the video is, and I will 
delete that and I will highlight both of these things and then I'll bring them over. Hey everybody in this. All right. And then that's how I'll start off the video. Okay. All right. Now let me roll to the end of the video here and where we're going to stop it and add another clip. Watch this. All right. So we know the, the sound ends here. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag this over to right about there. Let me test it out to see how it sounds. Watch this. All right. All right. So we know that's how the first part of that's going to end. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back over here to the media bin and I'm going to click on the uh, video that I'm going to use and I'm going to right click and I'm just going to simply say add to timeline at playhead. Okay. So I'm going to add this to the timeline. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this up so it meets the dimensions of the video that I'm working with. Okay. And so I'm going to go ahead and play this so that way I can see it. We're going to add this into the video. And if you can't hear this, I'm just listening to it. All right. Now, there is a place here where they're going to show the Click Designs logo. All right. And so what I want to do at this particular point is I want to cut the video here. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to move this uh, playhead to there. OK, now. So when the video starts, this is exactly how it's going to start. OK, so I'm going to scroll back to the front and I'm going to play this video and I'm going to play it all the way through and see how it sounds. OK, all right. So now with that being done, what we need to do at this particular point is we're going to fade out the sound on the end of this part of this particular video. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to audio effects. Um, I'm going to go to audio effects and then I'm going to click on fade out here. All right. And we're going to click on the fade out part here. We're going to raise it up just a bit. We're going to see how this sounds as it's fading out. All right. Um, so we still might want to bring that down just a bit more. Let's bring that. Let's delete that one. I want to delete this audio point too. Um, we're going to delete this audio point. And all we're going to do at this point is we're going to kind of raise that up just a bit. Um, so let's see how it sounds now. All right. Okay. Now I could have, you know, ended that a little bit sooner, but I, you know, just for the sake of the video, I want to make sure that we're moving things along. All right. So now I'm going to add the second part of this video. This is the part where I actually go into the demo part of the, of the software. Okay. So I'm going to move this over. And as you can see, we have our background here and we also have a, all of this, our screen that you can see our screen. Now, let me blow this up so I can see where the uh, where the actual uh, the audio starts. The audio actually starts right about here. OK. All right. So let me just double check so I can make sure that. Hey, everybody. Right. So the audio starts right about there. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to use our playhead and we're going to delete the, that first part of that. And then we're going to move it over to the end of the, the second clip. All right. Now, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make some adjustments to this as well. 
And the reason why we're going to make some adjustments to this is because I want to give uh, myself a little bit of a different effect in this particular video. OK, kind of like you see in this circle, but I'm going to do it with a uh, different background, etc. Now, some people like to um, separate their audio from their video. I'm not going to do that in this uh, video because for me, I just have, you know, I've just never had to really do that. OK, um, I've never really had to do it. Now, I'm going to go up to the library again. I'm going to grab this backdrop here. We're going to put this backdrop here. OK, and I'm going to show you what I'm doing this and why I'm doing this in, in a second here. All right, because I have this green screen behind me. So what I'm going to typically do is I'm going to block out my green screen and I'm going to make it so that I can be on the screen um, as I'm going through this. OK, now. Um, a, a, it just depends on how I want to maneuver around this. Um, so let me move this over. All right. Cause in the beginning of this particular video, I actually want to be on the actual screen. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to scale this up. We're going to do a little bit of cropping here, right? We're going to crop some things out, right? We're going to crop some stuff out of there. So we're going to crop some stuff out. <laughs> then we're going to go to, and if it seems like I'm moving fast in this particular video, it's because I've just done this for so long, but I'm just sort of showing you how to walk yourself through it. And the, and the more you make videos, the faster you'll get. I'm going to go with favorites over here, and we're going to talk about removing a color. Okay, we're going to remove a color from here. All right. And just like I did before, we're going to go here and we're going to remove that. We're going to work with the tolerance here. OK, we're also going to look at the softness of it. All right. Now, what I like to do is I like to play the video so I could see if there's any uh, green screen fringes that's going to start happening. And hey, everybody, are, welcome back where I can make some adjustments to the video at a later point. Back to the Video Geek Squad channel. In this particular video today, guys, I wanna go over with you the Click Designs software. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through the video, see if there's any green screen fringes, and then if there are, I'm gonna show you how and what I do for that as well. All right, so let's take a look. Let me go ahead and walk through that part, and then I'll let you guys see that. All right. Now I'm, I'm sort of going through the video and I just wanted to cut back in really quick and share with you um, how easy it is for you to sort of export a, a section of your or if you wanted to take a screenshot of something that you're doing, um, you can actually uh, do that here. And I'm looking for a spot here. Um, I'm going to show you how to export a section here. All right. So let's say, for instance, I don't want this clip. So let me let me find me another clip and I'll show you how to export it. OK, now I'm going to show you how you can export a frame here. All right. You can come up to the export here and you can click on export frame as. OK, you just click on export frame as you can save it for click designs export. And you save that to wherever you want to save it and bam, you've got a. you can use this little graphic wherever you want or that little frame is wherever, wherever you want it. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to I'm going to finish up going through the video and seeing if there's any green spots. And then um, I'm going to uh, we'll wrap it up and I'm going to show you some other things that I'm going to do with this particular video. All right. Now I've reached a place in the video where I'm talking about the pricing and I want to sort of downscale myself on the screen here. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to do what's called a custom animation. Right. And I know I want the animation to start right here. So wherever I put this little custom animation deal here, this is where this part is going to start. Now I'm going to click on myself and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag myself down a little bit and then I'm going to move myself over. OK, um, now something that you will notice here as well is that I am always looking over to the other side. OK, <laughs> I'm always looking over. So what I want to do in this particular video is I want to rotate myself. So I'm sort of looking in the other direction and how you're going to do that is you just come over to the properties tab. 
you're going to look at rotation and then I'm just going to rotate myself and like a 360 angle. So it makes it seem like I'm looking in the other direction. Okay. And I'm just going to rotate myself and then I'm going to click play. Now what we're going to do here, let me see here. We want to just move this so we can see the, the animation here. Let's take With a look. Click funnels. This has all sorts of integrations for you. Um, it has templates that are available for you and we're going to get into the templates and I'm going to show you how all of that looks in just a minute. And so it's a really, really, really robust program for you. Now let's talk a little bit about the pricing here. Um, you have several different options that you can do. You have a monthly price. Um, and I'm going to put a link down in the description for you where you can get a 14 day free trial. Okay, so you guys can see um, I downscaled myself and I flipped over here into the other side. Okay, now when I go into the actual uh, demo of the software, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to actually uh, change the way I am appearing on the screen. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to scale this up and I need to find out exactly when uh, the point to where I go into the actual demo. Okay. So I'm going to keep scrolling until I find myself uh, in the demo part of the screen. And then we're going to make some adjustments and some changes to that. OK, and I'm going to show you. OK, wait, I got, I'm already in there. OK, there I am. All right. So let's go back. OK, so right here, um, let me scale this all the way up. So between here and so right about here is where we're going to make some changes. All right. So what I want to do is I actually want to put my background. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to split everything. I'm going to split what's here and then I'm going to split this bottom one. So I'm going to hold down the shift button, uh, the shift key, and I'm going to split this clip and the bottom clip. I'm going to highlight both of those. Then I'm going to right click on the timeline and I'm going to split those two clips. Okay. Now the reason why I'm going to split those two clips is because I'm going to put myself in the background here, but in a different way. All right. So watch this. So we got a little bit of stuff here. So we're going to bring this background back here. Right. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scale myself up. Okay. We're going to scale me up again. And we're going to move me to the center of this. OK, now you will see that I have myself here um, on the screen as well as this background. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of these items and I'm going to group them together. So that way I can put myself on the screen in a circular uh, place, kind of like how I am here, but with a little bit with a few more effects. Okay. Um, so we're going to highlight both of these. We're going to hold down the shift for the, both of those, and then we're going to right click on it. And then we're going to say group. Okay. So now these two things are grouped so I can move myself and I can move this up and down. Okay. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to create a mask effect for this so that I can appear as a circle here. All right. So we're going to hit mask effect here. And as you can see now, I've turned into a circle. All right. Now, there's a couple of other things that we want to do to this particular um, this uh, animation here. And what we want to do is we want to add for myself a, a border to put around this circle. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to drag and drop the border down on the bottom here. Now I need for you to understand something about the border. If I just come over here to where it says border in the properties and I start increasing the thickness of the border, even though it's white. So let me just show you if it's a different color. So if I make the border red and I start increasing the thickness of the border, what's going to actually be, um, hold on. Let me show you what's going to be increased is this border. The actual border that's around. Hold on. Uh, let me see. That's not what I wanted to do there. All right. 
Now, you need to understand there's two separate little borders going on here. Um, there's the regular border, and then there's this border. Um, and we need to fix that. So give me a moment here so I can grab it at least. Hold on. Now, what will happen is you will see there's a border around it. We don't actually want to put the border around the actual uh, canvas size. We want to put the border around the circle, right? So the, the way that you can do that is you have to click on use alpha instead, and you will see then now it's a red circle around my actual the mask here. All right. Now, I don't like that circle uh, uh, color. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come up here and I'm going to change the look of this one to that. And I'm going to scale this down a bit. And then I'm going to move myself over here in the corner. All right. So now I'm in the corner and I've I've moved that. So that's what we're going to do now. Just so that you know, if you look here, you can see some lines here. If I wanted to, I could actually, uh, I could crop this box as well. I don't necessarily need to keep that uh, the way that it looks, but just for the sake of this video, um, I'm just showing you how, well, let me just show you what I would do. In my normal videos, what I'll do is I'll bring this, I'll crop that over and because I don't really need that to be that size. OK, so in case I want to move anything around, I can just move it like this. OK, so it makes it easy when you're editing and you're sort of moving things around for yourself. All right. So now that we've done that, we've got these two things together. What we're going to do now is we're going to play the video so we can make sure um, that, you know, everything in the video is smooth as far as that's concerned. OK, guys, when you initially log into your account, this is what you're going to see. OK, now I've had this account for quite some time. And you guys will see that I've created um, over 322 graphics inside of here. OK, and so primarily um, after I've done this, I will just go through the video to make sure um, there's nothing that I need to hide or, or or not show on the screen. And then I'll kind of finalize the video. OK, so I've sort of watched through the entire video. Um, now that I've watched through the entire video, I know I need to take this part of the video and I need to scale that back to where it stops here. Um, and so everything's going to cut out there. Um, let me just make sure that that's right to the channel and I'll see you in the very next video. All right, let me scale this up here. All right, so it actually needs to stop right there. Boom. So everything needs to cut off right there. All right. Now, what I've done is I save a lot of the assets in my media bin and in my library. So it's easy for me to edit videos. So all I have to do is right click. Now my end screen is going to show up there. So the end screen is there. So that's been added to the video as well. Um, and so that's all done there. Now, I need to tell you for myself, what I typically like to do is I'll run through the video and instead of asking people to subscribe and doing all of that, I just actually put some graphics in here that you can, you know, subscribe to the channel and so forth. So let's go back and let's play the video again. Um, let me play it again and let's add some some other stuff inside of here. Hey everybody, in this Click Designs review, we're gonna be talking about how to make better graphics, even if you're doing that for a podcast or for whatever reason you're, you need to make graphics. Now, what exactly can Click Designs do for you? Watch this.
Hey everybody, welcome back to the Video Geek Squad channel. In this particular video All right, today, guys, um, I want to go over with you the Click Designs software. I need to make a, a little bit of an adjustment. For you. Okay, um, what I did was I lowered the volume down, uh, the, the ease out of the volume. But what I want to do is I want to add a transition to this. Um, I want to do it like a visual effect to this. Um, the easy way to do this is to go over to Transitions. And I want to see how I want to do it. Do I want to do a bar wipe or do I want to do? Yeah, let's do a bar wipe. Let's add a bar wipe here. And let's see how this will actually look here. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the Video Geek Perfect. Squad channel in this particular. All right. So I wanted to do that bar wipe. Um, so and so now what I need to do is I just need to add some of the the little uh, things that I like to add to ask people to subscribe and stuff like that. All right. So normally when my video starts, I'll put in video today, guys, I want to go over with you. I'll put in one of the uh, subscribe buttons or something like that to ask people to subscribe to the channel. And I have all of that stuff already located inside of uh, uh, Camtasia. So all I have to do is the click is design. add it and I can move it to wherever I want to move it to. And here we'll move it over here and we'll just ask people to subscribe to the channel from there. So when this video rolls after it comes from there, does the hey bar everybody, wipe. welcome back to the Video Geek Squad channel. In this particular video today, guys, and then you'll see the I subscribe button come up. I want to go over with you up. the Click Designs software and do a Click Designs review for you. Um, I realized the other day that I, now I'll add a couple of these inside of my video, um, just because I don't want to, you know, keep. I don't want to ask people to subscribe. I want them to find some value and some stuff in the video. So I just normally I'll add a couple of these inside of the, the video. So it's already there for for me. Um, so just let me a minute. just take and a look at this. So it's a really, really, really robust program for you. Now, let's talk a little bit about the pricing here. Um, you have several different options that you can do. You have a monthly price. All right. Now I'm going to add another subscription. Uh, mouse click here. Well, you know what? I'll do the one that doesn't have the click. Um, I'll use that one and I'll add that to the playhead. That'll come that up on the screen. Days. And I'll move this one. I'll scale this one down a bit. And then I'll move this one probably right here. All right. So I'll put a link down in the description for you where you can get a 14 day free trial so you can try it out for 14 days. All right. Now, since I mentioned the link uh, down at the bottom, what we're going to probably want to do is we're going to delete the subscribe button and we're going to add a link pop up where you can get a 14. Let me go back here. Ice, um, and I'm going to put a link down. All right. So that's the point where I mentioned the link that's in the description. So we're going to go ahead and add that to the playhead down in the description for you where you can get a 14 day free trial. So you can try it out for 14 days. All right. If it makes sense for you. So that's what we'll do that. All right. All right. So that's talking about the pricing, the pricing, the pricing. All right, so we got all of that. And then we're going to go into the actual software. I use this and exactly how I use this program. OK, guys, when you initially log into your account, this is what you're going to see. OK, now I've had this account for quite some time and you guys will see that I've created um, over 300. All right. Now. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to add a subscribe button. I'm going to do a subscribe button here. Where is it? There it is. All right. So I'm going to hit play on that. And 22 graph. I'm going to move this over. So it comes up. Um, all right. And so we're going to play that. And pretty much this video is almost done. Um, I make my videos very, very simple. I'm going to give this a run through and then I'm going to show you how to render the video and have the video ready for you so that you can render it.
Okay, now at this particular point, we've gone through the video and we have, we like what we see. Um, what we're going to typically do at this particular point, we're going to go up here to export and we're going to export it to a local file. You would name it whatever you want to name it. And that's actually how um, you could uh, have your have your file. Now I'm going to go ahead and render this particular video. Um, if you have not yet gotten your free 30 day trial to Camtasia, uh, please use the link in the description below that will help you. And if you are looking to get more tutorials on Camtasia, uh, stay tuned to my channel. I'm going to be doing a slew of tutorials on Camtasia uh, for 2024 and beyond. So this is going to be an awesome, awesome channel for you to learn a lot of stuff uh, in your digital business. So I'll see you guys in the very next video.